Welcome to this video on how to get started with Jenkins and LabVIEW. I'm Bas van Etten and I'm a project engineer at VI Technologies. In this video I'm going to cover the following items. Why do you want to use continuous integration? What is Jenkins? What is the Jenkins Blue Ocean plugin? What are pipelines and how do you create them? What is my system setup for this video? And after that I'm going to give a demonstration on how to create a Jenkins pipeline for LabVIEW and create a unit test step and a build step. In the last slide I've put the links to the download pages of the software I used and they can also be found under this video. I've listed some pros on why to use continuous integration. With continuous integration you eliminate the it works but only on my machine problem because the build environment should be a clean environment. So when you've updated the driver on your development environment, you probably get an error in your build because you did not update the driver on your build environment. This will make you aware to add the new driver to your installation in the final product. With continuous integration you can detect faults early. For instance, if you are working with more than one person on a repository, there's a possibility someone added some code you were using and now your code breaks. But you will only notice until you update your local repository. Because continuous integration retrieves a clean copy of the repository, it will probably break on that part and you will know where it broke and who made the last commit. Because continuous integration is an automated process, there is no human interaction involved. So every test run is the same test. Jenkins won't forget to execute the step in the process. Because you are using an automated build environment, it's easy to add unit tests and maybe a VI analyzer to your project. These tests will run every time you commit your code, so every build you will know if your code is still the same quality. Jenkins is an open source automation server with a web interface. It supports several version control tools like Subversion, Git and many others. It can run most command line interfaces like shell scripts and Windows batch commands. You can trigger your builds by pulling your source code control or starting jobs manually. Jenkins Blue Ocean is a plugin for Jenkins which provides a new, more user-friendly environment to create and view your builds. They've created a new visual way to create pipelines. In this image you see a pipeline visualized in Blue Ocean. So what is a pipeline? A pipeline is a series of stages and each stage can contain steps which can be executed parallel or in series. These steps are translated in a scripting language which looks a lot like a groovy script and is saved in a Jenkins file within your repository. In this image you see an example of a Jenkins file. So the system I'm using for this demonstration is a Windows 10 virtual machine. It runs Jenkins server with the Blue Ocean plugin installed. For the unit test I use the JKI Karaya unit test framework. I've installed LabVIEW 2018 plus the new NI command line interface and my repository is hosted on GitHub. So here you can see my example project. I'm going to open the project in LabVIEW. And this project has a build specification called app and I only include the main VI as a startup VI. The main VI is an empty VI, it's just there for the purpose of creating a working build specification. I've created a basic Jenkins unit test VI, which is run by the NI command line interface. This VI needs to have the following connector pane. So it needs to have an input string array and an integer and a string as output. Also the connector pane needs to look exactly like this or it won't work. I'm using the Karaya unit test framework and this VI will create a test suite for me with a test result saved in a JUnit formatted report. The location of the file is saved in the root of my project. After creating the test suite, I created a simple test which runs three simple asserts to give me some data to show in the report. After that, the test suite get closed.
To run the Jenkins unit test VI, I've created a batch script. This script will start the LabVI CLI with the run VI command, which has an argument where the VI is located. After a successful unit test, I want Jenkins to build my project. To do that, I've run the execute build spec command on the LabVI CLI. This command needs a path of the project and the name of the build spec, which is called app in our example. I've created a repository on GitHub where I committed this project. This repository is used for my Jenkins build. After installing Jenkins and the Blue Ocean plugin, you can browse to your Jenkins server IP slash blue, and in my case, localhost slash blue, to view your Jenkins environment. We are going to create a new pipeline. Because our repository is hosted on GitHub, I'm selecting GitHub, and I already entered my GitHub credentials beforehand to save time. For my repository, I select the LabVIEW Jenkins example. When I click on Create Pipeline, Jenkins will search for the Jenkins file within my repository. But because the project doesn't have one yet, it will create a Jenkins file for you with an empty pipeline. This is what an empty pipeline looks like. In this first step, Jenkins will check out your repository by default. My first step is going to be a unit test step, so I call it unit test. I'm going to add a Windows bash script command. I'm filling in the path where my unit test batch file is located. We are starting in the current directory and in the script folder, there's a script called unittest.dat. After the unit test step, I want to get my test results and I'm going to use the archive JUnit formatted test results step for that. This step checks the root directory if you don't specify a different directory. So I'm going to search for all XML files so it will find my JUnit report file. After this stage, I'm going to create a build stage, which I call build. In this stage, I'm going to create a Windows batch script step, and I'm going to the same script folder and fill in the build.bat. When I press the save button, Jenkins will commit my Jenkins file with the pipeline to my repository. And after committing, Jenkins will run my pipeline for the first time. We are now in the activity tab and if you want to view your running build, you click on this activity and it will show you the running pipeline. So as you can see, Jenkins checked out my repository and is now trying to run my unit test VI. After that, the build stage is executed. So, both stages have succeeded and now you can view your unit test results in the test tab. If one or more of your tests fail, your build is marked as unstable and you can specify what to do with an unstable build. Like sending an email to your project members. I've put down some useful links where to download Jenkins and the Cry unit test framework. These links are also posted in the description of this video. If you liked this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to get notified for new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.